Right here, we have a 2017 Chevrolet Tahoe, and with all the features of this car, I'm surprised the badges are still the standard gold. I'm gonna show you in this video how to change the front, the rear, and also change the steering wheel. I was looking in the key fobs. To change the color of these in all areas of the car, I've seen them use paint, Plasti Dip, Vinyl, and even Sharpie, and those are all temporary. It will only last a year or two, maybe less, depending on where you are located. I'm going to be doing a permanent fix, and the price I got them for, it was good on eBay. It's worthwhile for an upgrade that will last the life of the vehicle in 50 to 100 million years from now. Let's get started here on the front, and we'll work our way to the back. We've got a good light going. It's dark outside, probably 15 degrees. If we have to open things up to ventilate, we will. First thing you want to do is open the hood. And then we got clips. We got way more. I did a video on a cruise and I had to do it on there. Got a lot of clips here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of them. I actually have ten of them to do. And they all get old and brittle. I'm going to try to be as careful as possible with these. Very, very... turned out to be 12 clips instead i was hoping taking that cover off was going to free up more space you can see it's packed in there like sardines i'm probably gonna have to pull out the grill i'm hoping these bolts up top will loosen the grill and will easily pull out the car is pulling bumpers and stuff just to get to a grill or headlight i know that's how chevy's doing it now but i think we got some luck here hopefully let's unbolt this and let's see if that will do it off there's two clips on each side and i just pulled it forward a bit with enough room now to reach my hand down in there i should now be able to push the clips on each side i believe there's four clips holding in the badge All right, you're now between the grill and the rad and you can see these clips four on each side i just push one back there is holding in the bag and when i originally pulled it out the angle was very limited and i just pushed one back in to show you what you want to reach your hand down find each clip you can see there's one up here somewhere one there one there and then the last one that's holding And you gotta buy a jail. You may want to cover something on there. I just got a whole heck of a load of grease for this lever. Some may choose to just keep the badge off. Now you got one of them special airflow badges. Got a full chrome design now to match with the rest of the chrome bumper and chrome everywhere else on this chrome mobile. You want the black badge? Well, you're in luck as I got one. We're gonna put it on there. And it's interesting how much is sealed off by the badge compared to the cruise. The cruise had a whole layer on there. And they're about the same, driven the same. I guess this is higher in the air, right? 22s. Got on this one. It's time for placement. Got the badge right here. They even vacuum sealed it. Keep that plastic in a little better shape, less oxidation. And grab the rustiest, oldest tetanus scissors you can find and open that package up. Nice styrofoam badge. Put that on the wall. And then on the back of here, there's an arrow in which way should be facing upward towards the sky, towards the Mars galaxy solar system. Make sure there ain't a single dust particle left. Sure it's facing the right way. Get it on there. Is that right or what?
Ta-da! Now we're moving on to the rear of the Chevrolet Tahoe. First, I'm going to clean up around the badge because it's got a lot of salt and dirt on it. And then from there, I'm going to heat it up and we're going to try to remove the badge. And it is a here on there with some double sided tape. It's going to be the most difficult part. I believe we can complete this today and then it'll be all, well, the, the rims on the vehicle will actually have the, the chrome center cap. No need to change those or the chrome rims. Let's get started on it, clean it on up. interest before I heat it up and remove the badge you tape around it to keep the position of where the new badge should go the black badge over the gold I have some old blue masking tape here it's water damaged on the inside they do make it in green and I used green on the cruise I just want to use this up first let's all buy green tape because when the green tape ends up in the landfill and blows out from the wind the old woodpeckers the old brown trout in the water oh let's confuse it for food if it's green, it'll blend in more. It's better than the blue or the red or the other colors. Always buy the green masking tape, and then maybe one day we can make green masking tape the standard. Let's mask it up. Think about the rough grouse, the eastern hemlock old beaver dams every time you make a product decision and we're ready to heat it up start getting this logo off seal on the bed with some old rusty old scissors. Here we go. And heat the surface. Make sure the arrow is facing up. Peel off the red label. Get a good feel for what you're doing. Got one try. Somebody up to hold it on for an hour. and just as important. Wow. And ring, ring, ring. That is one order served for a black emblem on the front steering wheel and rear of a Chevrolet Tahoe. How about that? Quite the upgrade.